Are you looking for ideas for your bulking diet? In this video, I wanna show you a full day of eating while on a bulk and how I fit Chinese takeout, yes, Chinese takeout, into my macros for the day. I also wanna show you how I handle my post-workout meal when I work out extremely early in the morning. All that's coming up. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If you are a parent or especially a dad looking to stay fit and to build some muscle, you'll find great tips and strategies on this channel for helping you to reach your fitness goals. I want to inspire your change and motivate your transformation and help you to share that adventure with your family. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the video. Good morning. As you can see, it's still dark out. It's very dark out. Now part of that is just because it's winter, unfortunately. But um, I am heading to my brother's to edit. So I actually got up this morning at about, about 4.30. Whoop. <laughs> Hold it. Pause. Then you get the keys. Oh my goodness. There we go. I got up about 4.30 this morning, which is what I've been having to do lately between four to 4.30 a few days a week in order to be able to edit. So it's how I have to fit this into my schedule to be able to do this channel. But I, I love it, you know, I enjoy it. I hate getting, you know, usually I'm getting about four to five hours of sleep that night. So this morning, another reason I had to get up so early is because I had to do shoulders and abs. And I also haven't done any cardio this week. It was Christmas week. I like flopped my schedule. You know, I took it as a rest day. Obviously, I didn't want to. I'm gonna work out on Christmas Day. So I'm heading to edit, just finished, you know, shoulders, abs, and did about 25 minutes of higher intensity cardio. It's dark, I'm tired, but I've got candy cane tea. So I actually have to come to my brother's because he actually has Adobe, um, an Adobe account, so he's got the premiere. Let's go for it. I can cut, no, I don't know if I'm smelling that. It's in plastic, how can I smell it? Peppermint, no, 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 candy cane tea. We're gonna give it a try. I cannot believe this. Where's the light? I need a light. I'm gonna have to scold my brother. And my sister-in-law. That's their tree stand. It's December 29th and their tree is gone. <laughs> What is this world coming to when my own brother can't even keep his tree up until January 1st? I'm a little ridiculous. I like to keep it up as long as I possibly can, but I paid for it. Paid money for a, a real tree. I want it to last. So, okay, so this morning I worked out, you know, I got up at 4.30ish. I basically got up at 4.30, did a shoulders workout, then I did abs, and then I did about 25 minutes of hit cardio session. I finished around, just before seven o'clock, I finished the workout, so now I'm coming to edit. But I'm not gonna, ex I'm gonna go home and go make like a really good breakfast, or probably around 9.30, cause I gotta get this video posted. I've actually done research, I wanna do more research about this, is the efficacy, or the, the benefit of doing a post-workout meal directly after a workout. Cause I know like it used to be like, like, oh my gosh, you're gonna go catabolic if you don't immediately get protein in you the moment you finish your workout. That was prior knowledge, and that's actually found to not be true. You're not gonna go catabolic if you don't have protein immediately after workout. A lot of the recommendations that I've seen say to get a post-workout meal in, because you do wanna refuel your body. And especially, like right now, I'm, I'm in a muscle building. I'm in a bulk. But so, because I'm in that state, I wanna make sure I'm actually building muscle, so I wanna refuel my muscles as, as soon as I can. So I'm not, I'm intermittent fasting only twice a week. And I only fast when I'm not working out. I've seen the recommendations say get a meal in within at least a couple of hours of your workout. So today I'm actually not going to be doing that. And actually I've been doing that more often where I'm delaying breakfast. So breakfast. It also helps me just like if I know like tonight my wife and I are going to have Chinese food. Oh, I haven't had Chinese food in like a year. I'm so excited. We have this amazing place down the road from us. So because of that, it's so calorie dense. I want to, I want to, I'm conscious of calories today. So I want to do, I'm going to do a really awesome breakfast when I go home and then I'm just not going to eat until we, until we do Chinese food later tonight. Because of that, that's kind of the way I'm doing it. It's not ideal to work out and then fast. Although I know some guys with great physiques. I mean, Thomas DeLauer, actually, he's one of the top fitness models for men. He works out in the morning and then actually fasts and doesn't break and doesn't eat a, a meal until night. People can do it. You can still build a great physique with it. I try not to do that too often because I'd rather keep my body getting consistent fuel, especially after a workout. But today I'm going to do it 
And I'm gonna keep researching that and see if I can find any more information on it for you guys. But holy smokes, what's wrong with you cats? Almost done. I'm ready for breakfast. Tea's great, but I'm ready for breakfast. All right, so I have some fantastic news that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know, you probably can't tell because you probably haven't seen my other car, but I have upgraded to a truck. I am now a pickup truck owner. Never thought in my entire life I would be, but I have this. This is awesome, it's leather seats. I mean, it's an older vehicle, but I needed something for work. Found out though it had heated seats, it's got a sunroof, got an automatic back window, AC works, which I've had one car that ever had AC and it worked for like a year and a half or two years. Picked it up the day after Christmas, so Merry Christmas to me. So anyways, I'm hungry, my wife's dying for me to come in and eat breakfast. She's been waiting to eat, to eat breakfast so we can eat it together. So, hey buddy! I'm Bama. Bama? Bama's I coming over? Who are you, sweetie? Hi! Come here, sweetie. You got makeup. Come here, give me hugs. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, that's what you're doing, Riley. Very nice. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Wow, we gotta clean up in here, don't we? What is hey. happening? You want me to open that? Rylan did quite the makeup job on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like painting, but on your sister's face. Okay, sitting down to breakfast now, finally. It's 11.15, finally. This is now my post-workout meal. I made a bunch of buttermilk pancakes. I'm not gonna eat all of those. I'm gonna eat maybe... Then I also have three whole eggs, five pieces of bacon. I do have two tables... No, no, I'm sorry. One tablespoon of oh, this stuff. Frosted sugar cookie creamer. Not ideal, not a clean food by any means. Very processed, but it's it's like a little treat. I have it like once a week. Total calories comes to 836. 81 grams of carbs, 39 grams of fats, and 32 grams of protein. So I'm not gonna eat again until Chinese food tonight, which I will not be able to track, but it's all right. I've been getting this butter flavored I like the butter flavored syrup. I know I'm 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 like a heathen that I don't like true maple syrup. It's good, but there's just I don't know, just to me I don't like it on pancakes that much. It's a light version. Again, it's not the ideal. I you know, really I should go for the full maple syrup, but this is lighter on calories. And I've tried the Walden Farms, which is actually pretty good. It's a zero calorie syrup. A lot of different stuff in there that I can't even pronounce. So I try to avoid eating it as, as much as I can. The taste is like, okay. I think, I think this tastes better and it's like 100 calories for a quarter cup. So I think it works. I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. That's not my typical breakfast. Um, so now since my diet, I've actually been eating smaller breakfasts. And I just have this tendency of saving calories towards the end of the day. So they are typically smaller. I used to do that like every Saturday, a nice, really big breakfast. Typically my breakfast is somewhere between four to 500 calories in the morning because I've definitely been liking to save my calories for later in the day. Oh yes, success, have Chinese food. Mm. Can't wait. I gotta go drop off the kids now that my parents can pick up Krista and then we go on our date. Then I get to eat a little bit later. Savory! Mmm, this does dang good. Yes, it's a date night. We've decided we haven't had it in a year, right? It's been a long been a time. time. That was such a clean eater. We tried to be really good. And it's kind of pricey. It was 48 bucks for all of this. So it's fresh, so I'm like, okay, we're just gonna go for it. The best part is these fried cheese wontons. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Cheat day! <laughs> no, choice it's not day. a cheese day, it's choice. Okay, here we go on our date in the new truck. <laughs> it's real funny eating eating broccoli when I'm eating Chinese food. But hey, it's broccoli and one of the awesomest vegetables, fibrous and all that good jazz. But it's one and it's covered in sesame chicken sweet goodness. Mm. Alright, so I'll tell you what, we know how to have an eventful day. That's right. We are grocery shopping. It's actually really fun with no kids. I know, no kids. It makes things so much simpler. Your parents know exactly what I'm talking about. So Costco's was Costco's? Costco? Yeah. 
Costco. Costco is closed. They close at six o'clock. You want to talk about what you're doing? I could. I don't really know what to share, but. So she had a counseling session with this naturopath. Nat naturopath. Naturopath doctor. And, and they, they study how food affects your body. I am changing my diet a bit. A bit. A lot. A bit. I've, I've been eating clean for the most part. But oh, that's true. I'm literally really eating clean to just help my endocrine and hormonal work better. I am doing a lot more fat. Like a lot more. Like a lot. And she hasn't really been eating dairy the past year. Borderline keto diet, which I've always been kind of like, yeah, I don't want to get anywhere near the keto diet, but there's a lot of benefits to it. I like my carbs. I do too. So, <laughs> so we're getting a lot of, a lot of animal fats and fatty things for her to eat. Avocados were 69 cents at Aldi. Amazing. We got like 11. <laughs> we got 11 <laughs> avocados. And we're getting as much as we can organic, grass-fed, as much as it pains me <laughs> to uh. spend that much on food. But as Krista always says, what you do you say? You pay now or you pay later. Yeah. All right, we are at the good old Wegmans. Can't be Wegmans. Those of you who don't have Wegmans, I am sorry that I that you are not me. No, I. what am I saying? Hmm? I'm just sorry that you don't have a Wegmans because I love Wegmans. Riley, what'd you do with Bomb and Bampa? Uh, what did you do with Bomb and Bampa? <laughs> And here we are, home. Okay, it's 9.30, we finally made it back. It's a late night for the kids just because we are out on the date. And by the time we need to get back to my parents and get them in the car and head over, it takes a little bit of time. So normally I try to get them in bed early. My son zogged out, which is nice. My daughter is right now singing. I don't hear her anymore. But she was singing a Where Are You Mommy song. Not gonna lie, it was absolutely adorable. Now comes the Chinese food, which I am so excited about. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea about how I'm doing this. So basically this morning I was able to track my breakfast, so I know exactly, pretty much, not exactly, but pretty much how many calories I ate there. Um, and I'm shooting for about 2,600 calories, calories right now. Ever since my diet, I've been very, very slowly, incrementally bringing them up. My weight's been staying pretty much the same, if not dropping a touch. It was a little bit out of whack just because we had some holiday parties. You know, jumped up a little bit there, but it's been settling down even on the, about 2,600 calories. So basically with that, I've had about 1,750 calories left. These types of meals, I don't, I don't really track. On the weekends, I really do typically track, except a Friday and Sunday is typically when I intermittent fast. And on those days, if I'm not eating something that's easily trackable, I don't usually bother tracking because most likely I'm under my calories anyways. So in this case, because it would be so difficult to track, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. I'm also gonna have probably about a cup to a cup and a half of ice cream, which I don't usually do, but I, I like to do it on the weekends. You're seeing a day that's not my typical diet, but I wanted to show you how I build into my macros some of these, some of these more, you know, treat kind of foods and things like Chinese takeout, which you've heard me mention, I, we rarely ever have, like maybe once or twice a year. That's kind of how I fit them in. You know, I only do two meals. Sometimes I'll try to do these types of things on a day where I'm fasting. So I'm only eating one, maybe two meals. Also, I'm on a bulk, so even if I do go a touch over, I know right now I could probably up my calories at this point, but because it's around Christmas and we have, you know, New Year's parties coming up, I'm keeping them, I want to keep them consistent until afterwards. Some days here and there I might be over. Ah, okay, success. Delicious. The date night continues. Now we're gonna watch, are we gonna watch it? Oh, yeah. On Netflix, love Netflix. And the Inf Infinity Wars, right? Avengers Infinity Wars. Haven't seen it yet. I think it came out like forever ago. So anyways, we eat this. I wanted to mention two more things though. Like on a day today, like today, where I only ate like two meals, or like one, you know, a third mini meal. What I love doing is seltzer water. Helps you feel full. And it tastes like something, even though it's zero calories. So really good to do it. Along with, Sometimes I'll mix a fizz stick in it. So these are Arbonne fizz sticks, which I've mentioned before. These things are phenomenal. There's pomegranate and citrus. I'm gonna put a link down in the description if you wanna 
try some, I highly recommend them. They're super good. They give you a little, they're a little, little green tea caffeine, but then there's also vitamins and minerals in them. Really awesome. And they go amazing with a, with a seltzer water. Love it if you would subscribe, comment below. Question of the day, let me know what your favorite cheat meal or cheat food is. I don't like calling it cheat because I choose to eat it. But tell me what your favorite is down below in the comments. I want to hear. Until the next video, stay intentional and bring the intensity.